know, there's so many different ways to set up uh, a queen rearing operation. Um, there is no wrong answer here. It's just without, whichever suits your style, okay? So before anybody goes and tells you that, hey, you know, that stepler showed you something and it's not right, you know, that's bullshit. I sent Carrie around today to uh, find our breeder queens, all the flagged hives throughout the apiary. So she's gathered 10 or she's probably going to bring back 12 and we'll try to pair that down to about 5 um, once we start. Uh, so she spent all day going through the apiary and assessing things. Uh, kept her busy. Um, today as I was kind of working by myself, I uh, was working away at some equalizing and I'm also putting together some builders. So this is what I want my uh, builder to look like. Just packed full of bees. So there's probably, you know, two or three hives worth of young bees in that box. So I got a lot of bees in that. So that's what I'm going for. These are my two, um, my strong unit. Put a salvage unit on top. So the strong unit come up and boosted this salvage unit, okay? So what's going on is this queen is re-establishing this top nest. And by doing that, there's like four, three or four, five frames of, you know, there's brood in here. There's a lot of young brood, uncapped brood, some larvae. There's a lot of young bees up in this top box. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and finding my stronger units. Found the queen. She's in the cage here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake all the bees from this top box into my builder. And I'm going to do maybe one or two hives this way into a single builder just to make sure there's a lot of young bees in these building boxes. And so this top box will be empty, but there's enough bees down to the below here that they're going to migrate back up through the excluder to take care of that young brood. So I'm just harvesting a lot of young bees is what I'm doing. Uh, and then the queen will just carry on with business as usual. So this is the builder I'm setting up. And I have foundation honey, uh, we have some pollen in the center. Uh, we'll get, we will be rearranging this box uh, once we get it back and uh, I'm going to arrange it so we can drop a graft or two graft frames into it. So basically all we're doing right now is just stocking it full of bees. Here's a frame of uh, young larvae. Tons of young bees on that frame. Cap brood. Shaking nectar from these frames today. Now is high time for making queens. New frame of open brood. This queen is sure stretched her, she probably had like a frame and a half of bees and now she's sporting like five frames of brood, all stages. Absolutely, absolutely astounding. Okay, so now all the young bees have been stripped from this top box. Into here. And I'll do that. I'll probably shake another two colonies into that box, which is a lot, but it will give me lots of young bees. Yeah. Put Majesty back. to go. There, now she can carry on her work. As you can see, those bees are already moving up to cover that brood. So I was able to harvest a lot of young bees from this hive and I'm pulling them back by doing that, but uh, these guys are going to carry on with normal colony function uh, right after here and I'll come back in a couple weeks and I won't know any different. 
So I have my builders in place and you can see there's a lot of bees in those boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a box of foundation underneath them just to give them a place to hang out and to spend some resource if they have the extra. And then tomorrow we're going to set these up to accept cells on Wednesday. So 14, 1500 hives went into winter last fall. Um, we went around and there's 11 colonies here. This is the brilliance of my apiary. This will be the stock that heads my apiary uh, for this year until next year.